poster presentation number 22 prevalence of excessive weight and uh, knowledge perceived need on physical activity among 10 to 19 years age visually or hearing disabled adolescents in all special education schools in western province of sri lanka by jayasena akss alagewanna maap paper presented by jayasena akss uh, very good morning again to all of you and uh, ladies and gentlemen i'm dr sarangi jayasena from Wuhan University. I did my master's in uh, postgraduate uh, Institute of Medicine in Colombo. Uh, this is my uh, dissertation which I uh, conducted uh, for my master's. The research uh, title is uh, Prevalence of Excessive Weight and Level of Physical Activity and Knowledge on Perceived Need on Physical Activity Among 10 to 19 Years Aged, Visually or Hearing Disabled Adolescents in All Special Education Schools in Western province of Sri Lanka. And my supervisor is Ma Ma uh, Ajit, Dr. Ajit Talagivana. And the background is to achieve health equity, eliminate disparities, and health promotion among differently able children is an overarching goal in 2020. Differently able adolescents may be sedentary and may lead to excessive weight gain. Physically active life will ensure minimum comorbidity. The objective of the study was to describe the prevalence of obesity and overweight and the perceived need for physical activity among 10 to 19 years aged visually or hearing disabled adolescents in all special education schools in Western province of Sri Lanka. The method I use is a descriptive cross-sectional study. It was conducted among aged 10 to 19 years 376 visually or hearing disabled adolescents in all 10 special schools in uh, Western province of Sri Lanka. The physical activity, psychosocial and environment PACE questionnaire was utilized to interview the perceived need and the anthropometric measurements were obtained to assess body mass index. The validated physical activity questionnaire Singhala was used to assess the level of physical activity. The response rate was 100%. Uh, it is interview administered questionnaire. The prevalence of overweight was 12%. Obesity was 3.5%. Then the underweight also, also was found 16.5%. The level of physical activity was 38.8%. A significant association was found with the level of physical activity and felt of satisfaction following physical activities. P-value was 0 0.05. And also, the level of physical activity and felt embarrassed when someone was watching do doing exercises. P-value was 0 0.04, which is also statistically significant. And also, the number of sports clubs participation in past 12 months, it was 0 0.02. In my conclusion, majority of the study group was insufficiently active. The study group may have done the physical activity, activity merely for satisfaction. Social acceptance and social or family support played an important role in the physical activity encouragement. And health promotional a physical activities are highly recommended for this neglected population because we need to keep uh, less comorbidity and otherwise it would be double burden. Thank you very much. Any questions? Thank you. And the paper is now open for questions. Uh, there's an interesting finding. You said that the fe uh, feeling embarrassed when someone watching the exercises, yes. was did it correlate positively with the level of physical activity or negatively? Uh, it was positively uh, because, uh, because I have taken as one pool uh, blind students okay. and uh, hearing disabled. So they feel uh, embarrassed sometimes. But, uh, and also I have uh, taken data for knowing the benefits of uh, injury prevention, but that was uh, not significantly, uh, there was no association. Uh, merely I think for satisfaction or maybe they were interested in doing sports and participation of sp sports clubs. 
and did you sample within these all special education schools or did you take the whole sample? sample? I had to take the whole sample. Initially it was five schools, but the sample number was uh, few because uh, my limitation also, I have only taken the schools, ten s we have only 10 schools in Western province. I have taken all 10 schools in Western province. Uh, but the limitation is like there are people with disabled students who are not even schooling. So this uh, sample is not uh, collected and there is uh, less data actually, like enough data regarding this neglected population. I think it must be uh, researched thoroughly. Did you check for availability of supportive services, whether that has any correlation? Yes, vocational training and sports club, they have a lot of, uh, mainly it is, uh, it goes hand in hand with the church and uh, they are the people who support uh, for these sports and everything. Um, and also sports clubs as well. And there I have also taken their environmental uh, availability because uh, it should be also analyzed. It was analyzed in my studies further, but only one component I have uh, shown here. And availability was satisfactory satisfied when it comes to Ratmalan blinding blind schools and western province like urban area but when it comes to Ma Matugama, Mayura and s other special schools they have uh, less facilities I think we need to improve their sports uh, availability environmental um, availability thank you and uh, let's thank the presenter for the presentation